What's good guys? It's your boy Lord Zed. It's 2017. We're probably gonna get a message about, you know, the new Call of Duty um, sneak peek, whatever they do at the beginning of the year, to kind of get us primed and prepped for the new COD. So here's the thing. I'm in love with Infinite Warfare. Love it, love it, love it. The game feels complete. I won't go on a rant like all the other Call of Duty guys do on YouTube, but I'll just say I really, really like that game. So this is a very unbiased opinion. But in 2017, uh, I gotta get that kill. Ah, uh, there we go. Gotta finish it. In 2017, with this new Call of Duty, they have to, have to, have to, in my opinion, if they want to, you know, have a successful game, they've got to take a page out of Black Ops 2, their book. So, wow. I'm out of Black Ops 2. Out of Black Ops 2's book. Fuck! How do you say that? They need to take a page out of the book of Black Ops 2. There we go. Sounds better. Um, but as far as, like, maps, guns, um, just the game feeling balanced, it doesn't get any better than Black Ops 2. Like, this game is the GOAT, in my opinion. Now, me and my boys spent hours and hours in this game. Uh, and, you know, I, I don't mind the booster packs and all that stuff that they're doing nowadays. Because, again, I tried to go back to... Oh, yeah, and I'm going for dogs this game. I have on Sentry, Orbital, and Doggies. So, sitting at 9 mil right now, using the Scar. But, uh, yeah, uh, as far as the, the games go, I've been primed since Advanced Warfare... You know, getting ready for more and more booster packs, booster packs, booster packs. So once Modern Warfare Remastered came out, I was kind of glad. I was like, okay, yeah, we get a boost on the ground Call of Duty again. It's going to be so much fun, yada, yada, yada. I hate that game. I'm not going to lie. I think because it's been so many years and that game is so old that, you know, I just dislike that game. Like, I'm not a huge fan. Uh-oh, VSAT. Doggy's coming soon. Uh, I'm just not a huge fan of it. It's too slow. The score streaks are very basic. The guns are very basic. But going back to Black Ops 2, it is a few years old. This still has the feel of a newer COD, in my opinion. Just the way it plays, man. I freaking, I freaking love this game. Um, so if the new Call of Duty 2017 has any chances of, or any chance of getting the COD players back and, you know, resurrecting this game and uh, I'll say making it right with the community. They have to take a page out of Black Ops 2. Oh, doggies! Ah, let's go! All right, I'm happy. I'm happy. AC and O, baby, got the dogs. First game back, and we got the dogs, man. See, your boy still has it. Um, oh, yeah, and if this game went to 100, like the newer CODs do, this will easily be a 60 ball, man. Easily. But, uh, anyway, who was I saying? Yeah, so the new Call of Duty has to, has to, has to, come on. Has to take a page out of this Shut book, up. man. This game is timeless. I can see myself coming back to this game day in and day out. Oh, I saw a funny meme uh, about the dogs. They were like, how the hell do the dogs get on the boat when you call in a canine unit? And it had some dog on, like, a floaty device. So, okay, I guess. That wasn't that funny. When I saw the meme, I thought that shit was pretty funny. How did hit markers? That's the one thing about this game, dude. You, you see that uh, connection meter on the right side by the names? That jump was always trash to me. Like I used to hate that. I used to have the most fucked up connection out of everybody in my party. But anyways, I keep getting off subject. Yeah, so I think you guys get the point. Call of Duty. I think this is a huge year in 2017. Like whatever they plan on coming out with, before you do anything. Go back and study this game. Study the map design. Study the weapon balance. Study spawn points. Study kill streaks. Like, dude, there's no excuse why this game, being as old as it is, has the best score streaks. Like, if you took some of the scoring systems, like from Black Ops 3 and even Infinite Warfare and like all the different ways you can score, and put it into this game, oh my god. It actually might be a little overwhelming. Like, this game, playing Kill Confirmed was crazy like me and my boys we put on sentry guns and you'd have like three sentry guns watching all the spawn points dude and we used to just wreck folks but i'm in love with this game and pulling it back out the graphics still look good uh, really really and he gets the triple kill oh my god with the vector what are we right now 29 and 3 i gotta at least get 30 man when you get dogs you gotta at least get 30 or close to half the team's kills. Um, 
But yeah, man, so used to wreck, still like wrecking coming on here. The, even the gold guns on here still look good. Like, I, I would expect it to be all cartoony and look all weird and stuff, but I have no gripes with this game. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Call of Duty. I, do, I don't even know whose turn it is this year to make the game. Whoever it is, if you're listening to me, fucking go back and look at Black Ops 2 before you make a game. Please, because I'm not looking forward to another shitty game with no lobby leaderboard like Infinite Warfare three months after the release, still no lobby leaderboard. So make sure you do your homework. Make sure you put together a game that's well balanced. Ooh, where's he at? There we go. That's well balanced. The weapons are good. The fucking shotgun. Oh my god. Yeah, weapons are good. Score sheets are good. Maps are good. Black Ops 2 is that game. Oh, your boy dropped 31 and 5, 6.2. First game back, baby. Your boy still has it, man. It's Lord Zed.